So where are you going? Over to ELQ to pretend to head on Abby so I'll think you aren't interested in me. It would be in very poor taste to hit on Abby in front of Michael, don't you think? Well, he has to be in on the scam, too, but that's okay. It's actually kind of sweet. You know, I'm actually hoping that Abby will drop by. So don't be upset if she shows up. Well, I'm sure Abby's so busy trying to impress Edward Quartermain that she hasn't thought about you all day. By the way, do you ride? As in horses. I, uh, well, I did work part of one summer on a cattle station. Really? Did you have to wear one of those big outback hats and a duster? You look great. It was summer, love. I've never worked so hard in my life. Have you ever tried to stay on a good range horse? They turn so quickly that you wind up on your back in a split second. Now, the horses are great, but the cattle, the only thing they're good for is charging through the fences. But the thing that got me was pinning the calves and branding them. So I slipped away and spent the rest of the summer in Sydney picking pockets on the beach. So yes, I've ridden, but no, I don't ride. Well, riding is very different up here. It's more recreational. There's some gorgeous trails by the barn where I take lessons. And my friend, who is out of town for the week, wants me to ride her horse. You could ride him. He's very gentle, and I ride all the time. So, what do you think? You up for a ride today? Have you guys seen Morgan? Not this morning, why? Well, he's babysitting Jocelyn. I thought Mercedes was gonna bring them by here. Are you okay? Morgan must be at his house. Well, do you want me to give you a lift? No, it's okay. I'll just take the bus. That was weird. Here we are sitting, having a nice conversation, and Molly didn't say one word about romance. So maybe I exaggerated a little bit about how much riding experience I had when I applied for the job. But what I didn't know is that it was tradition to put the new bloke on the rankest horse. <laughs> so, did you get backed up? Yes, finally, thankfully. Yeah, I said the guys told me to spur him on, so I did. And he takes off like a rocket out from under me, right? And we jump over a fence, and then jump over a ditch, and then we're running through these trees, and he's at a full gallop, mind you, okay? And then he comes to a dead stop at a pond. And then he bucks me off. Oh, you didn't land in the water. Oh, yes, I did. Thank God, because I would have broken every bone in my body if I hadn't. And then, then get, this is, I swear this is true. He trots over to the water, right? Takes a nice, long drink from the pond, and then races all the way back to the ranch, probably looking for carrots or apples or whatever, you know? So I have to walk now, and I walk for hours. I mean, we must have galloped for miles. Anyway, that was my first day, and it just went downhill from there. Well, this will be different. It's, it's gorgeous this time of year. There's some nice trails and rolling hills where the horses like to canter. We won't jump anything. We can just go for a nice walk. Maybe even a picnic lunch. Okay. I'm going to stop you right there. I can see where this is going. Uh, a nice setting, a nice quiet ride through the countryside on a summer day in a meadow somewhere. Doesn't that sound like fun? If you're this determined to spend time with me, then fine, you win. But it will be on my turf, doing what I do. Sure. My funds are a little low. I need to refill the coffers. Come with me to Vegas. The trip to the Dominican was one thing. Yeah, I just showed up uninvited and we were only supposed to be gone like a few hours. But Vegas would be overnight, wouldn't it? We'd have to plan for at least three nights. All right, the first night, we scope out all the casinos, figure out where the high rollers are. But we're ready to stay up late, because the real players don't sit down until well after midnight. And the next day, we can go to the pool, or dinner, or a show. But after that, the serious gambling begins. Now, you want to stay close, because some of these characters are a little unsavory. So be careful when I bring them up to the suite. The suite? Mm-hmm. No one will take me seriously if I didn't have a suite. I'll need you to play hostess. You make drinks, make conversation, do whatever it takes to get their mind off the game. But in the Dominican, you thought I was too young for all that. Some of these players like them young. And you can pretend to be older, so it's the best of both worlds. What do you say, Christina? Are you in? Well, I'd love to. But technically, I'm still grounded, so I'm not sure how that works. But um, I'll get back to you. Oh, 
that'll do it 